West Ham fan TV outside the London Stadium. 2-0 home win, comfortable home win. Comfortable today. No, was, I think that was one of the best performances we've had at London Stadium, I'll be honest with you. I thought everyone from the back to up front was brilliant. Uh, Good point out a lot of things. Um, there's a few players on social media that get a lot of stick. I thought Masawaku was absolutely brilliant. So I think him and Anderson on the left hand side, they could no one they couldn't they couldn't stop him. They're yeah. brilliant. And he, he gets so much stick. I mean, Creswell gets a lot of stick as well, the pair of them. And I think between them, I think they need to work them they need to compete for that left back. So obviously it was a position that we didn't strengthen in the summer. But if they work hard together, they, we can make that, they can have a bit of competition. They can be better in that position. I'm confident. The manager got it spot on today. I think that it was good keeping a similar line up to what we had at Watford last week. I don't think we were particularly that good at Watford last week. But if you keep a winning side, they're going to gain confidence. So I thought we were brilliant today. Yeah, as you said there, Masawaku yeah. standout player. But Felipe Anderson today, yeah. he showed signs of why we broke our record to bring Absolutely. him in. Unbelievable today. Him, Lanzini. Yarmolenko I didn't think was particularly great first half but he grew into the game he, he scored a brilliant goal um, I just think everyone was brilliant I thought again Ob Ogbon, is, Ogbon is another player gets a lot of stick I thought him and Diop were superb but that Pookie has been on fire the yeah. first three games barely had a sniff I think he had a shot at the end that's literally about it yeah the back four definitely yeah. done their homework didn't they to keep him yeah. quiet because as you said he's been on fire this season yeah. Pukie. but I mean this, I mean Sebastian Elia first well Second goal here, the first time yeah. was an own goal, but we'll forget about that. But what a finish. What a Masawaku down the left, ball in, unbelievable. Yeah, but he's a, he, he, his movement is different class. We've had Carroll, he's a big lad for the last few, right, quite a number of years now. He's good in the air, but he has nothing else. Haller holds up the ball, his movement's quality, he can finish. Uh, to me, to me it's, it's a bit, it's early doors still, but I still, I think 45 minutes in this market, however much we paid for him. It's absolute still. He looks a complete striker. He is the best striker I've seen at West Ham. I've had a season ticket since when we got relegated in 03, 03, 03 or 04. It's the first season I've been here. He is the best forward we've had here. I'm that confident he's going to be a player. He's going to score many goals here. And yeah. he's, he's, he's different class. I agree, mate. But yeah. the performance today, I mean, we're yeah. going the second half. Um, it's, you know, there was a couple of penalty shouts. Yeah. Yarmolenko for a couple. I'm not sure. I haven't seen them back on the replay, but... He was, do you know what? It was a comfortable performance yeah. there. And Yarmolenko, he deserved that goal. Deserved he it. did, yeah. He grew into the game. But 2-0 like two, two for me flatters Norwich. I thought we were 4-5 or five better than him in the second half. We, we had so many chances. But it's refreshing to, to be that comfortable at home. How many times have we been in this stadium? We've been 2-0 no up. We're still biting our nails thinking we might actually throw this away. But today, we were brilliant. And it, it was a joy to watch second half. And I, I, to be honest, there hasn't been many times I've been here where I can say we were a joy to watch throughout the whole 90 minutes. So I thought we were. First 10 minutes, maybe it took, we took a bit of time to get into the game. I thought Noble was brilliant today. I thought Noble the first few minutes, he was the player to put in the challenges in. And I thought after that stem from it, throughout the whole 90 minutes, I thought as soon as he started putting a few challenges in, I thought Rice grew into the game. Like I said, I thought the centre half was brilliant. It was a proper team performance. I just, I'm just a bit annoyed as an international break now because yeah. we've had three wins in a row now in all competitions. So we're going, we're going into a bit of form. So I think the international breaks come at the wrong time. But no, if they, if, if they come back after the international break and put a performance in like that at Villa away, we'd be laughing, mate. Because we, we, I'm not, I'm not going to get optimistic and say we're going to get Europa League. But if we put in performances like that at home, even the top side is going to struggle to beat us here. Because that was brilliant today. Yeah. No, I totally yeah. agree, mate. Listen, three wins yeah. in a week. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining me. Take yeah, care, mate.